I mean, I didn't realize you folks. Uh, Can I ask you a question? How much was your down bill? This quarter was over eight hundred dollars. For water and sewer over? Yeah, everything. How much was the sewer over? Usually the sewer is twice the twice the amount. We have seventeen dollars per thousand, thereabouts. Plus the I and I was two hundred. The I and I was two hundred dollars. So there's an I and I cost now that's two hundred dollars per quarter. They broke it up for calendar year two thousand seven and nine, and then maybe ten. So they're trying to attend to the I and I rather than by additionally uh -huh. charging you. Right. Then there's the capital cost for that. Probably a couple of years ago. As long as you're clear and you appear to understand that, that you're now being charged for years past where they didn't do I and I charging. And I would hope that from intelligent conversation like this, it would be appreciated that it's not the village who's letting that additional money on you. Well, I, I understand that entirely. <laughs> All right, look. Are you at the 800? How much of that was actually usage based? I got a lot of add ons. I wish, well, it was $200 for I and I, right. $56 for the capital improvements done about three or four years ago. Okay. Okay. Uh, water was half the price of the sewer, I would say. I didn't bring it with me. I oh, no, no, no. Yeah. So the water was maybe 200 for that? Possible. Okay. Well, so your actual sewer usage part is only about $300 or something. That's the part we get. Yeah. And that's the part we get. <laughs> but we don't get all of it. No, we don't, we don't get all of it. And they have to pay their own people, that's, that's, their own that's, steward that's, for it. That's the reason I'm asking you is that's the misconception. Everyone, I think a lot of people in Hamilton and Arcadia think that everything on your bill related to the sewer comes to us. Well, you don't have to be, well, I don't want to count. Yeah. How can you understand? Well, yeah, it, it does. I know, I understand that. I wouldn't try to solve or... Anybody who can that's it. That's numbers. We, we can come up, but we know on average what we charge a house because we just take Hamiltonian Park, divide by the number of households, for the amount we get, and we know what you're, you're paying us on average. So there's cost that the town, you know, for their people and, and their infrastructure that, that's added on to the sewer. We don't get everything that's coming to the sewer. What does the average village customer pay for sewage? Hmm. Can I think of my last bill? I'll tell you. Yeah, you're 25,000 gallons at 17, 18. I pay about, let me put it this way, mathematically, average, and you said you live in Hamilton, yeah. we've worked it out that it's about 850 a house. If you take the amount of the bill we sent to the bill every for the year, to a year. If you took the bill we sent to the town last year and divided it by the number of houses in your subdivision, it work out about roughly 850 a house on average, okay? I would say in the village I pay at least that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not including the surcharge. Not including the surcharge. Absolutely. Let's talk about the actual the, the sewer component of it. Okay. That's what there's this feeling or belief out there there's some kind of inequity going on here. There isn't. It's paying what I pay. I think the problem with the issue is the, the metering, all of the inflow, people I think, think that was just right. used to divert the attention from what the real question is quite honestly. I don't know. I just hope you guys can straighten it out. So do we. We've been trying. <laughs> I can tell you that much. We've been trying. And I have another question. I wish I could have printed this out because I did see it online today. You guys had a meeting last month where you did a lot of budget work, the check writing and stuff. I saw an invoice for attorney under the sewer department for $137,000. Oh! Right there. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. Whoa! Hey, that's correct. <laughs> that's not correct. That's not correct. No. That's about three years worth of my work here. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. It was under the factors sewer system. Yeah. 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 It was on the factor of suicide. You know, probably uh, it may have something. Oh, I, I shouldn't guess. I'll talk to you after. Okay. I'll tell you where I think it comes from. I mean, are we going to pick that one up too? Try something, David. That's right. That got my attention. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll give you my information before. Anytime you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll give you an email with that info for the bill. I just want to say thank you for coming. You're one of the first few people from your subdivision that has come here to just ask the pointed questions. Information is important. There's a lot of misinformation. I agree. Well, we're very happy to we're happy that you came. We're happy to answer questions. You're not a village voter, but we don't we would answer questions if you were from Chester. I don't care. We're here to answer questions. <laughs> Even if you were from Chester. Really you know what I'm saying? It's not, it has nothing to do with whether you're from, from the village or not. You're affected by it, so I'm glad you came to ask questions. I wish more would. Yeah. Thank you. 
Any other questions from citizens? Uh, on the uh, on the Nixle thing, uh, I had spotted that uh, some months ago and then emailed it to Kyle. Um, it's not it, it's not clear to me when I looked at it where they're pulling their money from. Um, at the same and and uh, when I had mailed it to him, it was subsequent to Kyle's having mentioned at the board that uh, there should be some system of getting emergency information out. Uh, I made the comment at that point, and I'd like to reiterate it again tonight. The village website is a very, very powerful tool that is not being used to its potential. And, I'll, and I'm very glad to see this. Uh, that's why I forwarded it to, to Kyle. I think it's great to have a system where you can reach people on their cell and it can be posted to email and in a lot of ways. You can, it, it's basically uh, a state-of-the-art phone tree type system. Nonetheless, we've got the website. It's not being used. And we can just put a side panel on the, on the main page of the website with a little uh, frame for news. And that can be updated daily or weekly, whatever. As emergency conditions hit, uh, the water notices could go up there. When we have snowstorms, if there are things that need to be posted, they can be posted. If meetings change, it can be posted to, to the website. Right on the front page, just a, a little news section. Um, Marcia, with the water shortage, yes. where does the reservoir stand? Minus, we had to, at minus 30, we have to enact the first level of alerts. So we're down we are at minus 30.5. So uh, we're just there, uh, we're at the very beginning, and we are at no crisis situation. If we are frugal and follow the laws, if we have every expectation of not having to go further. And that for, being said, we have no control over Mother Nature. And for those who may be watching uh, by way of the internet, yes. well, when do we anticipate that CRV will come online so that we don't have these uh, restrictions? The CRV head of the permitting agency has told us that he is writing up the final permit now. He has went on vacation for a week, which was delayed it, and we are supposed to be receiving it in minute. At that point, we can, number one, we still have the right to use it with the cooperation of the health department or the DC as an emergency source, God forbid, if we need it. But getting permanent online will put us in the position of being able to rely on that as a permanent source. No, I, we'll, I can't give you a date. Will, will, uh, will, will that permit come prior to the final uh, uh, acceptance of the design for uh, the treatment? And I cannot give you an answer to until I see the ramifications of the permit. And d d does the permit happen before or after the bore? Oh, the bore is, is already been approved. The DEC already approved that. The bore can take place. But does the permit for the system come after the board is done or before the board is done? I will have to read the document when it comes to me and then I can answer your question. Okay. Uh, Kyle, where do you stand on the waste pile? Well, we're from Cornerstone. Uh, we were caught. Uh, David, can I discuss? Um, well, I, let me tell you, we're in uh, continuing and active discussions with the DEC and the Attorney General over the disposition of the waste file. We have uh, gone through a couple of sources. We're pursuing one more source, and uh, Joel, I would think that probably within the next 30 days, we'll have answer to that question with some degree of time. But we're a little sensitive time now, so I don't really want to. Uh, it's kind of a daily task for the Village Board right now. And until we resolve that one way or another, I don't want to say anything that they prove not to be accurate in the future. Just just one footnote on there. Um, we appealed to Eddie Diana, and he's, he's actively helping us to try and find a source. Which, that was very nice of me not to do it. Yes, sir. Uh, when Homeland Security and Immigration conduct operations or whatever they do in the village of Goshen, is that coordinated with the village police agency? Or does the village, is the village ever even aware when immigration raids are conducted, when homeland security investigations are conducted in the village? Is that coordinated with the village? I don't have an answer for you now, but I, I certainly find out. If it's looking for an answer to something that may be an ongoing file investigation, that I probably will answer for you anyways. Certainly, with the chief, and let you know. Okay. 
Do you have any inside information? Yeah. Great well, I'm just curious. I, I had heard through the grapevine that there were uh, immigration raids in local really? village businesses and that um, illegal workers were rooted out. Really? I don't know if it's true or if it's false. I just heard it through the grapevine, like I said, and, I was, and uh, so then, you know, the immediate thought occurred.